and unexpected given how you describe Tracy. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I, I've never seen him mad. You know, I can remember messing around with him. And I'm not a huge guy, but I, I'd call him out in the field several times, you know, you know just playing. And he told me he, he, would, he would bust out laughing and, <laughs> and you know, and uh, he would uh, he would laugh at it, you know. Uh, but no, he was never he was never that sort of person. So what do you think happened to him to make him do that? I wish I knew. I mean, you know, that's that's the million dollar question. We all are asking the same thing. Uh, probably that's why you're here, and maybe that's why I'm giving the interview. One of the reasons. But uh, maybe maybe uh, through the years of his life in prison, he was hardened. Maybe he got hooked up with the wrong people when he got out of prison. We don't know. Okay. I think probably there's some more facts that may come out, hopefully, to enlighten us all. Maybe he was doing some type of bad drug where he just flipped out. We don't know. I mean, you probably have as much or more information than I do. So we're all, we all have questions that we need to get answers to for the healing, the healing of the victims, families with great loss and great suffering, and then the healing of the person who committed this with great loss and great suffering, not just for him, but for our loss, it's a double loss for the loss of Tracy and for the loss of the victims that died because of his actions. And why are you doing this interview? Doing it for the families of the lost ones. Our hearts go out to them, and uh, our pain is doubled. We're, we lost Tracy, and we also lost families and, and, and the communities, uh, good people. Uh, you know, we are grieving for them. Um, there's nothing that we can say or do that would bring them back, and we truly, you know, just... Uh, this, he caused so much pain because of the lives that he took away. And we want those families to know that we're not desensitized by that, that we are real people with good moral values, just like them. So we want the, we want the victims, the families' victims, or the victims of the families, to know that please, please bear with this investigation and please... Uh, Accept our humble, uh, true apologies sincerely from our hearts. That there's nothing we can do to bring them back. But he is Tracy has caused much suffering on both sides, and it's it's a very emotional thing. It's very tragic, and there's nothing we can do to uh, to change the course um, of what has happened. But we can learn from it, and we can grow stronger as a community. And and you know, and and perhaps learn from his mistakes as to what not to do. And let's let's reiterate that one more time because of the doorbell. Um, you, Chuck, go ahead. You got that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, I want to read this too because this is something that we know uh, let me ask you this before you read it okay. uh, just from the heart um, you're talking directly to the victims families now they very well could be watching this a lot of people knew them and loved them so someone uh, that loved those people those five people someone is watching this what what do you say to the what do you say to the victims' families? That's a powerful question. Um, we're sorry for the actions of Tracy. Uh, this is not the Tracy that we knew. This is not the Tracy that we loved. Um, there is nothing that will bring back Tracy, and we grieve for him. And there's nothing that would bring back the victims 
and we also grieve for them. And we feel their loss and we feel their pain. Um, I wanted to get in my car so bad and go up there, but I knew that I shouldn't. And and we ask as a family unit, a family that was based, uh, grew up in moral values as they, to uh, p please forgive Tracy for his actions. And uh, we ask them to humbly accept our apologies for his actions. And um, we all still have a lot of questions. And the big question is why? Why Tracy did it? Why he took innocent lives? What drove Tracy to do this? Why he snapped? For what reasons was it? I mean, there's so many questions to be answered, and we just don't have them. We don't have them. But we want the families to know that our sincere love and sympathy that we are grieving for them. And in such a small community, we understand that this has cha changed, probably changed the face of that community, changed the way that people live, maybe perceive the way they go to the door and open it, maybe the way they look at other people, um, and maybe not as trusting as they once were. Um, it's, it's very difficult. It's difficult for everybody involved. But I know it's it's mostly difficult for the uh, the ones that uh, that lost them, their loved ones. I don't know that there's any 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 right words to say that would help them, except that uh, we're sorry for everything that's taken place, and um, we grieve with them for the loss of theirs and the loss of ours. I think that was beautifully said. Is there anything you want to add to it? No, I don't. No. I know you said you haven't really looked at the victims' uh, pictures and haven't really gotten that close to it because you, you you know that it's not really that's not the best thing for you to do right now but you mentioned on the phone the other day there's there was one one of the victims in particular really kind of broke your heart tell me about that uh, the father and the daughter yeah why did that get you well I have children and I think I think she was young maybe 15 or 16 and she had her whole life before and the father was I guess she was working with her father there, and perhaps he was teaching her things about preparing her for life. And uh, everything that he's prepared her for, she won't be able to fulfill. Maybe walking her down the aisle and uh, giving her away, you know, or holding his grandson or granddaughter. Those are things that, you know, that you just can't replace. So uh, it's, uh, it's just a terrible loss. It's a terrible loss. Anything else you want to add? No. Chris, can you think of anything you want to add? I know that wasn't easy, but you did very well. You did very well, John. And we, uh, we thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. And please extend our love and uh, kindness and our sympathy to the families of, of those. And I know that day by day they will grieve and and mourn, and they will support each other, and I hope that they will get through this as, as we will also.